Hello fellow VR players, I am just about to try to get my trackers working in VRChat. Um, I just finished getting them working in Blade and Sorcery and that wasn't too hard. So let's see what happens. I can see my trackers are here. And you saw there for a second I had the white balls, that's VRChat recognizing that I have the trackers on. So it sees my controllers, it sees my three trackers. Let's see, once I get in, if I can get my avatar to be recognized. Uh, so first of all, I mean, my avatar seems a bit high here. It's in the T-pose, which is good. So let's line everything up. That there, that there, that looks about lined up. We put hand up, hand up, and let's click both. And there should be my avatar now. And see, right off the bat there, Okay, if you go searching on the internet, if you go searching YouTube, you can find some videos that require a whole bunch of additional software installed before you can get the tracking done. Uh, however, I just went straight into VR chat after I turned on my sensors and my character was immediately in that T-pose and I just lined everything up the way I need to and I've got my hand tracking, or sorry, my foot tracking and my waist tracking working so I can see the waist. It moves like so, it moves like so, I could do a little jig. And now if I want to go into VR chat and go find a, you know, a, a club or something, I can dance and it can, you know, not that I could dance in real life. Not that I dance in virtual reality any better than I would dance in real life, but it's also kind of neat that if I were to sit down, let's see, does this avatar work here? There we go. So if I sit down on the ground, you can see my two feet, you can see my waist, I'm still a bit floating, which is a bit strange. My knees in real life are right here, so they're bent up. The dragon doesn't seem to see that, but if I go like so, then I can get the knees to move up. And that has to do with just how this character is rigged, um, but that's fine. So let's just get up off the ground here. Oh, there, a little bit of delay there, but that's both for needs. So, I mean, this is, really great for the immersion. I love this idea of being able to move. I don't know what I'll do with it in VR chat. It's a little more obvious what you do with this in Blades and Sorcery, right? You go around and kick people. Um, so maybe a little later on, I'll try and figure out what kinds of things I can do in VR chat. You can see I have the uh, full finger motion as well. So, I mean, thanks for watching. I hope you recognize just how easy this is to set up. I mean, there really was nothing to it. So it probably didn't really need a video, but I want to put a video out there just in case someone is you know, new to this stuff and all they see is the older videos where you had to do extra installation, extra software before you could jump in. So hope to see you again and thanks for watching.